Do you really wanna dance? No. Do you really wanna sing? Yeah. Do you really wanna walk, walk, talk, talk, and bring the joy that you bring? Mm. Do you wanna dance? Yeah. Do you wanna? Hello collective, this is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, you guys. Also your north node, all right? Especially when it comes to your purpose, um, aligning with your purpose, always check your north node placement, all right? Um, you guys, stick around if you're new, all right? Everyone is going to get two, actually three free personal readings, okay? Yeah, I'll tell you how to do that in a moment. But stick around, I love you guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed so you guys are notified when I upload new videos, when I do giveaways and all that stuff. Love you guys so much. You guys enjoy the reading. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Who am I doing? Aquarius, ooh, ooh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Next, who's up next? <laughs> All right, let's see what your message is, Aquarius. I, I had a clear audience message for you, but it just feels dirty. I don't know why. All right, so we have relief. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, you guys ever seen the movie Yes Man? All right, so. Are you sexually frustrated right now, Aquarius? Uh, or is this someone you're dealing with that maybe feels like this is either you or you're dealing with somebody who's sexually frustrated and you are the frustration. You are their frustration. Um, I feel like it's personal. Like they don't, oh gosh, gosh, this is so weird. Because that's the message I got before I got this card, but now I'm just looking at, <laughs> I just heard yes, man. Do you need a sexual release? <laughs> the old lady. Hold on. Okay. Stop. Well, you know, okay. So we have the number 12 here, breaking down the number three. All right. I don't know why her two, three is a crowd. <laughs> Again, how there's three. Okay. Like, I don't know. Three. I'm hearing three, 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 three. All right. Um, maybe you're seeing threes, a lot of threes. Okay. I feel like you would see, like, out of all the signs, um, you would see threes a lot more than other signs. I don't know. I'm hearing it. You see them more. Because that, that is the Ascended Masters. Um, three, when I think of three, too, I also think of Thoth, the god Thoth or Hermes, okay? Um, information, third house, Gemini, all right? You, you, like out of all the signs, you and Gemini, I, I think of Hermes, I think of Thoth. Um, I feel like you guys are celibate. Like you're trying to practice, ab you're trying to practice abstinence, all right? You could even be fasting, but this is um, relief, though. Like, I don't know why I'm getting... Okay, we're going to read this. I'm going to read the message. But those Clarionian messages, they wanted to come out, okay? Um, somebody is frustrated. Someone's sexually frustrated over you. I feel like there's... I feel like they have a lot of options, too. If this is a person you're not dealing with or you're on someone's roster, you're the best one or they want you. They don't want anyone else, okay? I don't know why I'm hearing that, okay? Like... They might even be re like, they might even resent you a little bit. I don't know. Why. <laughs> they're mad at you because they're like, you know, you're the only one for me. I don't know. Okay, let me read this really quick to you guys. Number twelve can be significant, um, but this talks about the end of suffering. Okay, this is the end of suffering or hard times for you, Aquarius. A much re a much needed relief or break in energy. Okay, miracles, rescue, and reprieve. Um, I'm also seeing something about um, refugees. All right. Aw. Aquarius, are you a philanthropist? Humanitarian. You're helping people. I just saw Ashton Kutcher. I think he's an Aquarius. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Meditate on this symbol when it all seems too much for you to deal with. Um, if it feels um, overwhelming, meditate. Meditate on the symbol. You can draw the symbol. All right. Like, if you look, these two right here are more edgy. The ones um, north and south are more edgy. And then east and west are more curvy. Like, if you notice, like, the, yeah, it's more soft on the east and west. And then the south and um, north and um, north and south are very, like, sharp. 
edges, okay? So like if you want to draw this symbol um, and meditate on it, um, this is the symbol of this is the symbol of ending strife. Okay, it ends strife. Um, it's it, it's associated with the Icelandic magical stave, associated with ending suffering and calmer calming anger. I'm even hearing the color red. Like if you if you feel like um, I don't know if you have like a red room or something. I don't. Know, I'm hearing seeing someone have a red room or someone's room is red, and you don't. There's nothing you can do about it. Like maybe you live in a house where the rooms are red or something. I don't know. There's something about the carpet being red and it makes you angry. You know that makes you angry, right? The color red, it makes you angry. Color the walls blue or something. Color them blue. Like my walls are blue. My bedroom. I've, I've been coloring my walls blue since I was a little kid. Like I love blue. That's my favorite color. Um, it's just so calm and peaceful. Um, maybe that's, maybe I'm seeing a lot of like um, this color, like soft colors, like baby colors. I don't know what they're called, pastels, um, for you, Aquarius, I don't know why, for your mind, okay, yeah, relief, someone could be really angry, <laughs> frustrated, <laughs> girl, do you need a sexual release, all right, I don't know, <laughs> I want to go watch that movie, um, Aquarius, I love you guys, if you guys are humanitarians, if you're philanthrop philanthropists, I love you so much, you are my people, um, speaking of which, um, you guys check out your free personal readings down below. They are the, the second, third, and fourth link. But the first link, um, is really, really close to my heart. Um, I don't have funding for my idea and I'm not panhandling or anything. You guys can just vote for me if you want to vote for me, if you want to support it. It's, it's to help me, um, fund my project that I have going on. I also want to win this contest so I can design shoes, you guys. I really want to design some shoes, all right? <laughs> Um, with the surgeon. I really want to work with the su surgeon. Um, it's like my passion, you guys. I know you guys know I love designing, but um, yeah, uh, it means a lot to me. It's going to be open on the 24th. If you guys want to vote for me, it means everything to me, you guys, um, if you want to support the cause, all right? Um, my idea is actually to support children, and I can't talk about it because I haven't patented it yet, so it's kind of, you know, risky telling everybody my idea, right? But um, yeah, it's really going to help and save lives. And I hope you guys help me do that. Make that happen. You guys, I love you so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoyed this reading. See you next week. Love you.